I'll describe Kirkwood as your perfect American dream. Nice houses. The best schools. What the dealers kind of look for are people who are more affluent and from better off neighborhoods. That way they know that they have the money to actually go and get it. The enemy's roaring like a lion. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And it's in the form of heroin. I'm Colton Kalita, and I started using heroin when I was 15. I first tried heroin whenever I was in this room. It's just constant and compulsive, and it just takes over your will and your body. About 30,000 people live in Kirkwood, Missouri, a well-to-do suburb outside of St. Louis with a median family income of more than $77,000 a year. In this county, heroin deaths are nearly four times the national average. The people that use heroin in Kirkwood can be anywhere from the honor student to like your typical teenage stoner. Did you ever think that at the age of 15, you would be a full-blown heroin addict? No, it's not like you wake up one day and think that you're gonna be a heroin addict. It just slowly progresses from the small stuff, pot, alcohol, cigarettes, and it just keeps going. Do most of the people you know try heroin recreationally? It almost always starts out recreationally. No one starts off thinking, oh, I'm gonna do this every day. At first, I didn't even like it. The way I saw everyone else was raving about it, so I'm like, well, maybe I should try it again. So then I tried it again, and from then on, it was just kind of downhill spiral. How easy was it for you to reach out to a dealer or multiple dealers and get the fixes you needed on any given day? You just call up the dealer, tell them how much money you have, you go to the spot, they throw it through the window, you give them the cash and you drive away. It's like that. This one's from her dealer. How many beans will I get? Seven or eight? They're like fire. There's no BS. Allie says, I love you, Dad, and I said, I love you, Allie. And then she went into her bedroom, closed her door. She took a, a capsule of heroin, and she snorted it, and it was so powerful, she died instantly. Heroin is the first thing I think about when I wake up. It's the last thing I think about when I sleep. I just care about getting high. I wish I had all the money in the world so I could buy all the heroin in the world. Did you know how deeply into heroin your daughter was? No, no, I, I had no clue, I had no idea. And I discovered this after getting all her notes and all her journals and everything. So this is a book you made for Allie? I did, because I figured someday I'm gonna be dead and at least she would have something of her childhood memories. And this became a book for you? And it became my book now, yes. When you look at this face, this is the face of yeah. dreams, of hope. Right. She could have been a dancer. She, I mean, she was so good in ballet. She did tap and jazz. I'll never see her walk down the aisle. I'll never see her get married. I'll never have grandkids. I'll never be, you know, a grandfather. I think about how I could have ended up like a lot of people in the area. Colton's wake-up call came in 2015, when one of his friends suddenly died of a suspected overdose. Both teens had struggled with heroin addiction. It was the second death at Kirkwood in just 14 months. It tore me open inside. Since then, I've kind of turned it into motivation to stay on the path I am. Kirkwood High School is aggressively dealing with the heroin problem. After Colton's friend died, more than 80 students reached out to get help for themselves or people close to them. I've been in recovery since October 20th, 2015.